Augmented reality is in a very exciting time at the moment. We've seen the emergence of a number of technology platforms building in game, building in education, building in storytelling. By 2030, the AR mixed reality sector is going to be worth $600 billion. Right now, it's worth $50 billion. In the next five years, we're going to be seeing hyper growth in AR and mixed reality. When I travel around the world, I don't see accessible technology in people's hands the way that we have it in Saudi Arabia. We are consulting and advising Western countries on areas of technology and interactions of technology itself, on software and on hardware side. We have thousands and thousands of people uh, coming from around the world to attend the leading tech and innovation uh, conference in the world today. And that is a testament to the size of the opportunity that the conference brings, backed by those opportunities uh, that are part of our Vision 2030 and the strategy of the kingdom. Technology has been built to serve the human purpose. The digital space is amazing, but as COVID has shown, the physical space is very, very important to us as people. So we're entering a space now where digital assets can become part of the physical world. Every single industry that has a digital space can have a digital space. The beautiful thing about Mark is that it is all augmented reality. It opens up a whole new era of technology over our physical space, not through our computers. So how our technology works is take your photo, take your video, take your audio. Once you have your digital asset, you then have to scan your environment. Once you're done scanning your environment, you get to place your digital asset through your phone. You can then let it live within an ecosystem that you have placed. That ecosystem is a radius of 10 meters and anyone who walks within that area will discover your mark and add more marks to it to build that ecosystem. We can have an entire art exhibition and pull it down within the snap of a finger because it was never really there. <laughs> you know, the sustainable element is, is that it doesn't take resources to build an event. It doesn't take resources and materials to construct anything. We can design it all within the AR space and preserve the natural environment of wherever we're setting it up. We do all the safety and security practices when it comes to mobile apps. But stepping into Web3 and using blockchain has now allowed us to reach a different level of security. And, you know, blockchain has been one of the, the best answers for security when it comes to user data. Essentially, on our map of Mark, there is no charted land. This is where the trailblazers would go around the world and start to build the actual AR world. The entire heartbeat of Mark is the token. So anything you do within Mark is a transaction of the token. It's not like using current financial structures where you just go into a store, buy what you need, and then your money's gone. Whenever you buy something in Mark, you will be rewarded for it. Anything you do within Mark comes at a reward basis. We have an eclectic mix of youth, talent, experience from a background of science, from a background of startup, from a background of enterprise, from a background of commercial. If you fuse that together with sharp, bright minds from a design and technology background, we arguably are building one of the stellar teams to come out of Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia has really advanced across many sectors. And I think technology is one of those where we're not just advancing today, I think we're leading. We recently had a partnership in London uh, with Duke Corporate Education, whereby we had 40 of their guests fly into London and, and gamify an experience for them using the app purposely built for them. We've also signed an agreement to launch Mark with the Saudi Tourism Authority. Mark is going to be a virtual tour guide for people um, on touristic sites. We can gamify the experience for them, create trivia pursuit for them. And uh, we're very excited about that potential of what Mark can bring and what can we do with retail and hospitality. This technology is copyrighted, is trademarked, is built on our own unique platform, ensuring interoperability that we can continue to forge relationships with the likes of Apple, the likes of Google, the likes of Amazon. As the technology gets better of glasses, as the cost gets cheaper, we are going to come in to a price point for glasses as we have for iPhones and probably move and shift everybody into glasses. The key growth area for Mark is to build a technology that is loved, adored and embraced by 
a global community in the millions, in the billions. That's one of our key pillars. Our second pillar is to work with enterprise, to work with education, to work with art, to work with culture, to work with pharmaceutical industries and grow this platform to where the future is going. Can Mark provide happier moments, make life easier, make life more interactive, more engaging, change education, change gamification? Absolutely, 100% yes. That's what's exciting about the premise of a technology like Mark.